year in a row. For those of you who are new, Aruhi is a music group, partial to retro film music, especially Bollywood, and we are friends and professionals in our respective domains, but passionate about music. Our live shows are always unique and thematic. And while we support talented musicians and live bands through our stage shows, we also raise funds and awareness for some amazing NGOs and people involved in good causes like pediatric surgery, cancer care, autism, multiple sclerosis, dialysis and many more. I think the pandemic has done some good too. It has helped us to look at the digital seriously as a medium. Cutting Chai was born to fill the gap created by the lockdown and the ban on public gatherings. Unknown Ratan was one such experiment to showcase the musical talent of autistic kids. We were enthused when we saw the kids and young adults take to the digital medium effortlessly. Conceptualized as a showcase for autistic youngsters in association with the Cambridge Academy, which is a space for young adults with autism to explore their interests, find what they want to do and do it. I would urge you to visit them to experience the magic there in person. We also have some interesting experiences shared by the facilitators as a part of today's program. In this edition of Anmol Ratan, you will meet 15 talented youngsters who will surprise you with their musical talent. We hope you will enjoy this unique offering and encourage the youngsters with your comments, likes and shares. We are grateful to Kavita Krishnamurthy and Sharada Rajana of the Cambridge Academy who have been our partners helping us to put this program together. Ashna for coordinating the recordings and the parents and talented singers and instrumentalists for this excellent evening of music. Over to you viewers. Enjoy the show. Thank you.
சின்ன சின்ன ஆசை சிறுகடிக்கும் ஆசை முத்து முத்து ஆசை புரிந்த வைத்த ஆசை personal interest development vocational training life skills training wellness and fitness have all been brought together and curated in such a way that like the tag like says it's keeping in mind what is important for the student but more importantly what is important to the student freedom of choice because it allows the students to be themselves it's a good ambience uh, the small number of trainees a uh, sensible approach of all the staff towards our trainees uh, individualized curriculum we are providing the safe place for the boys we are helping to grow up they are uh, tailor make the program specific to the individual's needs they study their strengths and try to hone their skills based on that
Hello everyone. The one thing which absolutely touches me and which I have been experiencing with the uh, children with autism for the past so many years is the sincerity and the emotion which comes just naturally to them, you know. And it's also about the perfect pitching and the nuances which just cuts through. Uh, it is not sometimes what is taught. It is just there inherently. Mm -hmm. You don't have to actually tell them that, yes, you are going a little off pitch here. You are, uh, um, you know, kind of when we are uh, teaching any other child, it's not like that. Because I think there's too much clutter in our minds um, by the time we deliver what we want. But they are so blessed that it just comes without all that inhibition, which is what makes their music and uh, the ability to be on pitch or deliver the Sangati so pristine and clear, so beautifully possible. I think uh, that has taught us and the way of perceiving music itself so differently. <laughs> Oh, 
Watching computer. Shopping. Shopping. Hmm. And what else like to do in Cambridge? Cooking. Music has always known to have a therapeutic effect on people, more so with people who have been diagnosed with autism, especially children. With constant exposure to music over a good period of time, we've seen children who choose to be non-verbal start to hum or even sing. Some others recognize complex melodies. So what is music to their ears? It is something that's engaging, calm, meditative, on many occasions fun and even colorful. It helps them express what they feel from deep within. And I'm very sure they respond to emotions evoked through music better than any other form of communication. In fact, we think it acts as an alternative channel of communication that strengthens the bond between the parents and the children. Children and individuals with autism are exceptionally, exceptionally responsive to musical stimuli. And we've seen it sharpen their listening skills. It has helped with their attention span. It has helped with their focus and their Grasping power only grows from strength to strength with constant exposure to music. So yes, music is consistently beneficial across all spectrums of autism. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
opportunities, learnings, exploration, and happiness. My learning space. For the students, by the students, of the students. I feel like my son is seen, heard, and valued as an individual. And the journey so far has been so fulfilling and happy. And for me, it's like a ray of hope for my son's future, my happy place. Kang Bridge to me is a bridge to guide the young adults take a smooth path towards adulthood. प्यार तो कर मैं बुला नहीं हसी मुलाकाते बेचैन करते मुझको मुझसे यू ना फिर नजर सर्दी की रातों में हम सोई रही एक चादर में हम दो लो आज तो अरे मजे बरो अदने बोने बोलो का चलो नसने हम बोलो बोल वे कुल तेर तो कम बोलो कुलो बोगल सुनने ने बेल वे अदि तेर त कोडे अपने मना मने दा तेर पाकु होगा मैं दिलाई समय मिलाया बसी पदम स्वासी पदम कुंदी
Thank you.